Hi Scorpio, welcome to your <clears throat> weekly forecast and this is for July 15th to 22nd. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. <clears throat> my throat is a little bit itch uh, itchy right now <clears throat> because of my colds and uh, uh, because of the weather. It's really hot outside. 43 degrees. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Okay, Scorpio. Looks like you're dealing with a fire sign. But even though this fire sign is someone who really, like, you know, shapes up your world and tries to, you know, it's like your entire universe, your entire world revolves around this guy, this person, this fire sign. But somehow, let's uh, let's pull out for more clarifications on this. Okay. Now. Okay. <clears throat> well, at least there is a lump sum of money that's going to be coming your way that will definitely come from your from something that you've been working so hard, and I feel like you deserve it. Let's take a look at your health. Fever, muscle pain, mm -hmm. okay, teaching of the lodge, and also don't stay too late at night, especially if you've been driving too late at night or if you're in the field of transportation, be very careful. Because I feel like this is where you're going to have some blurry vision and you'll also have some confusion because of your eyesight. Well, things are going to start picking up in your sex life and I feel like you're going to be spending more lovey doveys you know, with your partner. And uh, this time, or this week, it's going to be a sweeter kind of uh, sexual week for you. There will be a lot of passion between you and the particular person, which is, I feel like it's either an earth or an air sign. <clears throat> All right. Honeymoon, let go of control issues and trust. You know, every retrograde I've been battling with, uh, uh, what do you call this? I I'm always feeling so lethargic, and, uh, you know, I keep on postponing things. Now, it, it, I'm not blaming the retrograde for it, but if it's not actually retrograde, I'm not usually like this. I'm always on my feet and I'm always trying to keep up with the deadline. Now, I had a dream of um, about holding a military or uh, managing some uh, military people. And uh, usually when it, when it comes out in a dream, it means that I need to apply a little bit of a discipline to my actions and uh, to my daily schedules. That's why I've already done this uh, weekly thing because I've been trying to do this for the past few days and been opting for the uh, past life reading as well for all the signs that's why when I woke up this morning I said I'm gonna do the forecast now and I was gonna try to you know I'm gonna try and get the right energy to do this reading and finish it once and for all okay so 
Oh, and by the way, I also interpret dreams. So if you do have some recurring dreams or some dreams that you cannot really forget, you can send me an email about it, okay? Or you may offer a full length of, um, what do you call this, interpretation. All right. Anyway, Scorpio, let's get back to your general reading. Now, let's pull out more clarifications first. You're having a hard time like getting like going through your daily routine because someone who's very manipulative who's acting like an authority and who's been trying to dominate you is trying to dictate your schedule your time and what you should be doing at this saw and saw time and what you should be doing during your time okay not to mention that i feel like some scorpios will find themselves pregnant okay or their partners pregnant at this point now there is a part of you who wants to celebrate and rejoice, but there is a part of you who want, who will somehow feel like, oh my god, this is really the, really the wrong time. You know, because you've been having a lot of problems and you've been having some issues with your relationship right now, especially dealing with this fire sign who's been acting so selfish and very arrogant, plus um, not really helpful, okay? I'm not saying that you want to end this relationship, but you are already contemplating into having a break or opting for a, a temporary separation just for you to regain back yourself and your own identity because this person have already corrupted much of your identity, behavior, and personality because they've been dictating you too much. You've tried to resist the domination, but it's like it always ends up in a big fight. So for you to curb down the, uh, the war or the violence or the aggression right within your home, you just keep quiet and just try to do things you know their way which is I feel like it's very unhealthy if you're so caught up in that kind of uh, relationship or situation now this person used to you know appear as your soulmate and you used to think that this is really the right one for you but now that things have gone so sour and bitter you're starting to you know defy the fact that this is the one that you're supposed to be ending up with somewhere somehow you know that you're starting to look outside the fence and you feel like that there's still somebody out there that is meant for you to to be with somebody who could give you more happiness and somebody who could give you a better life or emotional fulfillment all right now when it comes to your work i feel like there is a uh, contract or there is a lump sum of money that you're also going to going to be getting and i feel like whatever that you've been working so hard a project a deadline or more likely a proposal that you've been working on for quite a while now, a few days, few weeks, or months, it will definitely be, you know, uh, come to fruition. There will be a success that's going to be coming your way, plus work-related uh, trips, okay? And I feel like if you've been asking to move to a new department, new position, or a more likely, let's say, promotion, okay, or to handle a new team, then definitely you will be granted and you don't really have to worry about a thing. The success will be yours, but I feel like you have to cut off your personal issues, your domestic issues, your heart issues away from your professional life. And that is how you can achieve much more success okay, in your career life right now. Because I feel like there's something that you've been battling with on the inside. And you don't know who to approach and who to talk to. But try to separate your emotional problems away from your financial problems. All right? I know it's not that easy to do and it's easier said than done, but eventually you're a very smart person. You can do it. All right? Now, you will also be catching more fever, muscle pain, and, uh, you know, colds and flu this week because of your stress you will try to meditate as well but don't work too late at night okay don't stay too late at night too much it seems like you also need to change the grade of your reading glasses now occasional migraines you'll be feeling a little bit uh, sexual this week but uh I feel like you would just try to conserve it, okay? It's like you're not really in the mood, although you're feeling that you're in the groove. 
You will also start looking for more ways to, on how to divert your attention away from your problems, which is good for you. Now, as I've said that you're going to be feeling a little bit in the groove, but you're going to try and uh, move away from the, uh, you know, the idea of it. But I feel like your partner will also be feeling the same way, the same thing. And you're going to be doing it a lot this week. You know, for singles, I feel like you're going to be having sex with someone around you, which is tall, clean cut, a little bit wavy hair, uh, trimmed facial hair, looks like an Italian or Southern, and I feel like this is somebody that you've been working with, okay? Or somebody that you also fancy. Um, I feel like this person is single, but not really a committing type. So don't look forward for this casual hookup to go to the next level. Now, I also feel like you'll be traveling along with your loved one, or you're going to try and offer a uh, you know second honeymoon. You just need to let go of the control issues and learn how to trust, okay? Because you also have some trust issues. You always feel like somebody will always be out there to betray you, hurt you, or to defray you. Now, as I've said, you're also thinking of a temporary separation for you to recuperate and try to regain back yourself. And um, don't try to run around and play along with other people or try to flirt with other people. You need this temporary separation because you need to regain back yourself and your confidence. All right. Now, to of Ariel, it's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once and making work fun. This keeps on coming up in several signs already. Okay. Now, Six of Gabriel, congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, or promotions. See, this actually coincides with each other. Five of Ariel, you needed to go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. Which is, you know, cheating is not really an option if you've been having some communication problems in your relationship. Ever. All right, you're just going to incur more bad karma and it might just bridge through your next relationship if ever that the separation will push through. All right, so anyway, that's it for you for this week's Scorpio. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or offer pre-recorded video readings or live video readings, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net and please visit destinypsychics.com. All right, blessings to you.